All right, so what I'm gonna give you an explanation on a little bit, you guys, probably one of the number one or number two reasons for a no cooling call is lack of refrigerant. So you would call the technician out or the company out um, and based on the customer's description, tells the technician where to draw their attention to. So if we're listening properly, actually listening to the homeowner versus just going in one ear out the other, it tells us where to direct our attention to. So in a situation like this, most homeowners view the problem as being with their air conditioner. Most people view their air conditioner as the condensing unit outside, which is an example of that is right here. So to check the charge properly and to see if the correct amount of refrigerant is in the unit, we're obviously gonna put on our gauges while the unit's running and we're gonna check what's called superheat and subcooling. So we do that by putting pipe clamps on the suction line and the liquid line and we're taking readings. So we're taking the difference in temperature from one of these gauges to one of these pipes and that tells us if the system is charged correctly or not. So nine times out of 10 or the majority of the time when we have a decent leak, um, meaning two, three pounds low sometimes, uh, the source of the leak typically comes from the inside portion of the air conditioner, which is called the evaporator coil. It sits on top of the furnace. So this is what we call the plenum. This is just a door, uh, an access door for the evaporator coil. So when we take something like this off, your evaporator coil is behind this. So this is like a perfect uh, mix of where refrigerant can leak out. So you have copper tubing, aluminum was wrapped around the copper tubing and it's going through a steel plate and condensing has taken place. Um, so a lot of the time this copper will get porous and it'll leak out a little bit of vapor refrigerant. So this is a common source of where we would find a leak. Um, and then we would come through with like an electronic leak detector and we would find the source of the leak and then give the customer their options on how to repair it. So sometimes the repair can either be a leak stop product, meaning an additive we put in to hopefully stop or slow down how quickly the refrigerant is leaking out one of these copper tubes, or uh, we would have to replace the entire coil. So that's your typical repair or something close to it.